So we're gonna talk about, first thing that you might wanna do when you get the water is to contain the hair, <laughs> is to keep it out. My hair is now long enough that it's gonna be in my face if, as soon as I go under the water. And I actually recommend a swim cap if you've got mid-length hair like me, if you have lots of really big hair, if you have zero hair or thin on top, I also recommend a swim cap for you because it doubles as sun protection as I'm standing here with the sun in my face. I'm gonna show you how I put my swim cap on today and talk a little bit about if you have more hair, what you also can do with that because I obviously don't have a ton of hair right now these days. So. This is kind of a basic swim cap in this sort of shape. There are other swim caps that you can get that have a bigger pocket for your hair, but most of the swim caps you find are gonna be this size, this basic shape. And But do look for the specialty ones if you have a lot of hair. There is a swim cap out there for you as well. Just, I really like to point out that unless it states that has a pocket for more hair, it's gonna be this size. And this works for a lot of people, but not everyone. So when we look at this, the pictures are on the side. The front and back is the narrow side. That's the side that's gonna go to the front. So I'm not putting the wide part, the picture part on the front of my head. I'm gonna put this narrow part is gonna go on the front of my head. Oftentimes when people get their swim caps, they take them out and they like stretch them. And no, we don't wanna do that. <laughs> that's a really good way to tear a swim cap. So we don't really need to do a lot of stretching and pulling. It's supposed to be tight. And if you're really feeling like you have to stretch and pull it out, then it might be too old and not supple enough. When I go to put it on, I start out with making this triangle with my fingers, my four fingers and my thumbs that I'm putting into the cap. So I'm making this nice little pocket to put my head in. And what I wanna think about is this side here where the skinny side is, this is what's gonna go onto my forehead. And that's a key piece of it because we're kind of using that to stick it onto your head. Our attempt isn't gonna to be to get all of our hair in, everything in there. We just wanna get it kind of stuck to our forehead and over our head. Now, if you have a lot of hair, my recommendation to start with is just to simply collect it and have it be towards the back. You actually don't necessarily want to be bundling it up over the top because as you see when I go to put this cap on, it will mean having to take it over that as well. So really just think about that you're going to be drawing your hair back to all be sitting. Imagine I have long gorgeous hair. <laughs> it's all sitting towards the back. My husband's recording this for me. I'm actually imagining the hair he used to have. Long curly locks. And <laughs> one of my children does right now. Anyways, okay, so I'm going to make this little shape here. I've got the front of it that is going to stick onto my forehead. So I'm sticking it on there to give a little traction. That's what you do want to have this hair here empty so we've got that sticky place. I'm going to stick it onto my forehead and then I'm going to pull it over. Now you might not get it quite over the first time or the fifth time, that's okay. But we're just getting it there. You can see my hair is sticking out. If I had longer hair, it'd be kind of hanging out here. It's a little over my eye funny, that's all right. So this is when I'm going to just start to adjust it. I want to keep this part on my forehead. I want to have this part here again for that sticky part. If I get it up into my hairline, it's going to be more likely to be slipping off. So really kind of keeping that focus here. Then from here, I'm going to start, you know, the more hair you have, the more you might need to do this, but I'm going to start kind of pushing it back and pushing it back pushing it back. So it's collecting to the back. And same with my other side. I'm gonna push it up and to the back, and to the back, to the back, to kind of tidy this front part. That's what we wanna do first, is have this front part tidied so it's sitting on your skin as much as possible. Now, again, if I had long hair, lots of hair, I would keep pulling it back here so that I could twist it up and shove it up. I have short hair right now, so I don't have a lot to push in, but I'm just pushing it in under the back. Long hair, tie it up, 
and then push it up. This is a perfectly good fit just like it is. You can decide, some people, when I swim outside and I swim in cold water, I keep my ears covered because I want a little ear protection. When I swim in my pool here, because this pool is 94, it's nice and delightfully warm. It's a winter day and you can see this, maybe you can see steam coming off the water, but I like to take my ears out just for comfort, for preference. There's no have to on it. Experiment and try with each of them. When I did that, I have a little more kind of coming out. The big thing I'm looking for is really this part up here so that when you're swimming, that hair isn't coming into your face, that you have clear vision, it's not getting underneath your goggles, and you can swim away and enjoy without your messy hair getting in the way. One more thing of note about swim caps. I've been talking about the primary reason we wear swim caps is to keep the hair out of our face, to protect us from the sun, <laughs> protect our heads from the sun, and to have our hair be less wet. Lots of swim caps will say it's to keep your hair dry. I have yet to find one that really actually totally follows through with that guarantee. I just want you to be prepared. No matter how good we are at tending to putting our swim cap on, your hair is probably gonna get wet. Any of these little places where the hair is showing is gonna wick up, and that's just a normal piece of it. So I want us to be prepared for that, that we can include that in your swimming plan. All right, thanks for watching.